I look like an absolute mess today. Oh my god. Hey guys, it's Allie. And welcome back to my channel. Today uh, is Monday night. This video needs to go up tomorrow night. And I'm gonna be gone all day tomorrow because I'm meeting Bethany Moda. I will be vlogging that, so stay tuned for Thursday's video. And so I decided, since I couldn't really think of anything else to do, I am going to make, I left this light on my phone. That wasn't supposed to happen. That was so extra. We're making cake, or mug cake, confetti mug cake. I saw this in the grocery store. I was very, uh, curious about it. All we need for this thing, I need, I'm having so much trouble opening it. Um, one moment. I'm using scissors to open up a box right now. I mean, it seems to be working, so, I mean, I don't think I can ever close it again, but thankfully everything is individually packaged. <laughs> Next step you're gonna wanna do is blow your nose so that you are not struggling to deal with allergies. Actually, I'm always struggling to deal with allergies. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. And since you blew your nose, now what you're gonna wanna do next is wash your hands. Nailed it. So once you're done washing your hands, the next step you're gonna wanna do is make your cake for real now. Which mug do I wanna use? So I picked out my mug. It says caution politically incorrect on it. My mother and I got this for my mom on Mother's Day and yeah, it just really has a nice message on it. So I'm gonna use it to make my mug cake in. Oh, there's chef's quick tips on here. Why not try adding one tablespoon of fresh strawberries? No, substitute three tablespoons of water with five tablespoons. Heavy cream. No, we're gonna make it a cake, not heavy cream. So first we're gonna take our powder and we are going to put it into our mug. This is so anticlimactic. Yay. Oh, there's little rainbow beads in there. No shiz, it's funfetti. Look at it. All right. Um, Next, add three tablespoons of water or milk and stir with a spoon until the batter is smooth. One, two, three. And now we mix. It's not mixing very easily. Like some of the dry ingredients are like stuck to the bottom of the mug and they're like not cooperating. And now that we have our mixed mug cake that needs to be baked, the next step is to microwave on high for one minute and 10 seconds. We'll do a minute and 15 seconds and then we'll stop it five seconds before. Is it like a thing to lick the spoon? It tastes like cake batter. Who would've thought? No, but this is good and it's there's no egg in it, so it's safe to do this. So yeah, just water and powder. So this is, I guess, vegan. So vegans, you can do that. This, you can make, re recreate this video. Send me your creations with the hashtag Allie's Mug Cake. Don't do that. No one's gonna do that. I also have this water bottle filled with water in it and I put it in the fridge. It's ready. Ooh, looks out. Frick, the mug is hot. What do you expect? It was just in the microwave for a minute and 15 seconds. Let's see how it came out though. It looks <laughs> like a cake. Um, yeah, it looks like a mug cake. So now we're gonna do what you would do with any cake. Frost it. Um, where's my frosting? There it is. And then we're gonna also add some star sprinkles to it from my cookie decorating video with my camp friends. So that's exciting. Got myself a knife. That should be the thumbnail. Put the ow, 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 it's hot, so I'm gonna leave it here, but this is so, so, just looks like it isn't cooked, but it probably is. Oh my god, let me show you here what it's doing. See how like it's pulling apart so easily? I don't know if that means it's soft or it means it's undercooked. 
Either way, there is no egg in this, so I don't care, but mm, it's okay. Oh, the frosting's literally melting right away. Yeah, I should have waited for this to cool down a little. Oops, I don't care though. Last touch. Just a touch you love the night. <laughs> Sprinkles. Oh my god, I added way too many. I don't care. Um, where's the cap to the sprinkles thing? Crap. <laughs> How did I misplace it if I was literally just standing here the- Ow, frick, I found it. I flipped it up the mug and it was really hot. But I found the cap to the sprinkles, so we're gonna put that away now. Now we're gonna do what I should have done in the first place before I decorated the cake is um, we're gonna go put it in the fridge for five minutes and let it cool because um, we can. And I probably should have done that in the first place and I don't wanna burn my mouth tonight, so. Into the refrigerator it goes. See ya in five minutes. Allergies are so bad. <laughs> but we're gonna go take the mug out of the refrigerator now and I'm using this in case it's still hot. We did it, we made a mug, cake. Now what we're gonna do is, what makes sense after eat, making a cake. What's that you ask? We're gonna eat the cake. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Masterpiece of a mug cake with sprinkles getting everywhere. Let's try it now. This is a good mug cake. That's about it. Um, it tastes good. I recommend it if you're lazy and you don't feel like making an actual cake. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss it when I upload videos. I'm uploading every other day until Monday of next week. That's my last video, and then I'm gonna be uploading like a few times throughout the summer. Cause I'm not gonna be here, so it's gonna be hard, if not impossible, to film. That's it. Go follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will see you later. Bye! I'm off to go take allergy meds and then go edit this video. Cool.